Hello everyone and welcome back here to Fading Hearts. Yes, we've got some stuff recording and no, he still hasn't moved that shirt off his bed. <laughs> thought we agreed it was part of the actual comforter pattern. I think I think you might be right, yes. <laughs> yes. It's 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 actually the flag of Shirtonia. <laughs> I'm here with, as you can probably tell by the giggling in the background, the lovely April and the wonderful Laura. Hi guys! We're so amazing, Laura. You are. They've missed us. I, I can feel that the relief that they're getting one of these videos. They've missed it. I know yes. I can feel it. Mm -hmm. Yes, at last. We don't just have to listen to this idiot. No. <laughs> oh, don't be silly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last episode. Well, I've absolutely no idea what we did the last episode, <laughs> but at the end of it, we decided we had to call someone. Who should I call? Claire or Rena or not call anyone? Did anybody vote in the comments? Because I thought we asked them to vote. Uh, no, I don't think anyone voted. I can't mm. remember us actually asking them to vote. Mm. No, we probably did. Alright, okay. It was um, about two years ago. Yeah, <laughs> um, let's call Rena. He <laughs> just wants to make you do the voice. No. <laughs> I dial <laughs> Rena's number. <laughs> ring, 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 ring. Went the ringtone. Hello, Ryu. Are you okay there, Rena? You're sounding a little bit hoarse and husky tonight. <laughs> Hi, Rena. Want to hang out sometime? I'd love to. Why don't we have some bubble tea? Oh, that's your line, Simon, actually. Simon, steal it a plane. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> just, Why just, don't we have some bubble tea? Let's just delivering it. Just delivering them for you. Yeah, it's a service. You know, it's it's something I do for my favorite friends. Oh. I take their lines and deliver them for them. <laughs> okay, right. Uh, I think we did all this last episode, so let's just rest and move on, shall we? Yes. I decide to take a rest. <laughs> we go with that. S uh, stress is down, but I'm feeling more pissed. <laughs> I feel better now after resting for a bit. I I go to bed and fall asleep, which was made so much easier after the rest I had. <laughs> I arrive at the bubble tea shop on time, but Rena is nowhere to be seen. I even look underneath the tables. I guess she's running a little late, as usual. Blair. It's been nearly 20 minutes now. Where could she be? There. Ryu! <laughs> Rena scurries up to me in a panic, wearing the same dress as she's been wearing for the last two days. She just has 12 of those dresses. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Ryu. Something came up and I had to take care of it. I'm sorry, could you say that again? You actually got too high pitched at the end. <laughs> okay, what should we do? Should we tell her it's alright or scold her for being inconsiderate? Tell her it's alright. Don't be a douche. Yes, dear. Sorry, dear. <laughs> it's okay, Rena. I only got here. I only just got here myself a mere two hours ago. <laughs> Phew! That's a relief. Things have been so busy for me lately. Gosh, you seem the cause. <laughs> <laughs> we order a bubble tea. Sweep the bats that have fallen out the trees up and put them away neatly and find a booth for ourselves. I feel a little guilty spending time with you like this. I mean, Claire's not here. Yes, it's just you and me. <laughs> Can't we just relax for once and not worry about Claire all the time? We have our own lives too. Okay, I understand. An attendant at the counter interrupts to announce that our drinks are ready. Your drinks are ready! Yeah. <laughs> That's a bit over the top, really, isn't it? <laughs> I head over to pick them up and return to the table. I mean, she had, she came over to she came over to us to tell us to get up and walk over to the counter and get... Ah. You call this service? I call this an insult. No tap. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Rena gulps hers down adorably with the most childish enthusiasm. 
I can see the smile and sip mine slowly, chewing enjoyably on one of the balls. The tapioca <laughs> balls! The tapioca <laughs> balls! Mmm, so delicious! So, you enjoy chewing on balls, did you? You can say that again. <laughs> By the way, Ryu, I'm a bit worried about you. No, I, I'm not having an affair with the abusive male either. <laughs> Are you sure you're not becoming a taco? Look, okay, look. You, you you chew through one tree and make a dam and everyone... Oh, no, that's otter. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly spit out my drink at the sudden outlandish question. Balls went everywhere. Huh? I was just wondering. After all, it seems like you're really interested in a taco. Are these things these days... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. cool thing <laughs> I burst out into peals of laughter. You worry too much. It's not like I'm becoming a different person or anything. Okay, fine. So I haven't bathed in three months, and my b room is now full of models of unclothed women wielding really <laughs> large swords, but I can give it up whenever I want. <laughs> Rina regards me with curious eyes as she contemplates my reply. I have a feeling she still thinks of Otaku's as mysterious alien life forms. Well, I think she's more confused that you dress like Hatsune Miku. <laughs> Why is this better? Yesterday it was Sailor Mars. <laughs> well, he does look very good in red high heels. This is true. So does Sailor Mars. If someone <laughs> likes movies or books, that doesn't make them weird, right? It's not too different if you like anime or manga. Hmm, I suppose not. That's so brave of you. You aren't afraid if people will think you're childish for liking cartoons. So she thinks he's childish. <laughs> yes, I've noticed that, yeah. We chat for a while, enjoying our tea and each other's company. After we run out of topics and tea, we part ways. I really enjoyed my time with her. Hmm. We're nitty fully pussed, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, we've unread me. Okay, let's read our unread mail. Mm. Approaching girls from the trivia. <laughs> so, Ryu, I heard you were looking for me. Once I thought it was wrong to do these things. Hearing your story and watching you chew on those balls, I realized there are fast <laughs> worse evils out there. I've decided to lend you a hand, but in return, you will promise not to tell anyone about this or share the photographs. <laughs> do we have an agreement? The player. Can we? Oh, there's one up higher. Ah, approaching girls. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Let's begin, shall we? Once you make eye contact with a girl, smile and wait for her signal. If she smiles back at you, you should approach her. If she looks away, wait for another opportunity. Really if she asks you questions talking like this, really go and date really. her immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Keep this in mind. <laughs> The player. <laughs> Alright, okay, we've done all that. And we can't reply to any of these I've noticed, so let's leave the Money inbox. Uh, okay, we got $70, so I don't think we actually need to work. Um, call someone. We'll call someone. Let's just have a quick look at the books, okay? Okay. Put books on the shelf. No. Don't put back a book. Use bookshelf. Read a book. Don't need any of that. <laughs> we love this video. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, was, I, I get this feeling we should call someone. Don't know why. <laughs> Let's call Claire. <laughs> I get to do a thing. Mm. I dial Claire's number and wait as it rings for April to find a voice. <laughs> ring, ring. Hello, Rio? Hi, Claire. Do you want to hang out sometime? Sure thing. Good. I was chewing Rena's balls with Rena the other day. It was really good. I'm hoping you can do this with you. How about? Oh no, oh. your line. Yeah. Have Don't want to get told off again. The usual place. Uh, let's meet up tomorrow. Fine. I think you guys really have to deal with your bubble tea problem. I know, right? Okay, right. Uh, let's go outside. Tashibana Park. 
into the forest, guys. Because I love the story we're getting in this forest. <laughs> Hopefully we don't come across a uh, mob. Koopo! Mm. Since it's night time, the woods are <laughs> undoubtedly crawling with predators. Not to mention the shadowy kind. Those <laughs> damned bubble tea addicts. <laughs> I still don't know why there are all these strange shadow creatures out there. But if I don't investigate, I'll never find out. Or indeed, get my face eaten. <laughs> I walk around the forest for a while. And ellipsis. It's the same one. Yes. Another shadow darts out from the underbrush, but in order to save money, we use exactly the same graphic as before. And leaps <laughs> to attack. A simple punch. Pow pow. Yeah. A uh, shadow insect leaps at Voyou. And Voyou is bitten for 49 points of damage. I'm not going to narrate all this. Let's just do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, another one bites the dust. Hey, no, I better not do that. I want to put this up on YouTube. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. <laughs> My mind starts to drift away. Hey, honey. <laughs> I wish you could actually do it and like actually have a singing chant. Uh, uh, actually, this reminds me. Uh, I've been asked by Andy Ray Sims to say Colonel Angus in a southern accent. Oh, yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen. Colonel Angus in a southern accent. Oh. Oh. <laughs> she's probably on the edge of her seat and then she's like, oh, thanks. <laughs> that was a thing. Um, I have no idea accent. why she wants me to say Colonel Angus in a southern accent. Oh, now I do. <laughs> they did that on um, SNL. There was an entire scene about Colonel Angus. If you haven't seen it, it's on YouTube. Find it. It's absolutely hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, it's super. And it's got Amy Poehler in it. I love Amy Poehler. <laughs> I'm standing in a grassy field far outside the city. Ten wooden targets hang suspended in the air thanks to my magic. My galeve is growing with energy who are ready for loose. Once I send them flying, I must hit the bullseye on each one before they fall to the ground. I need to concentrate. I wish this music would stop playing. Three two phone call one <laughs> now <laughs> the wooden target spin high up to the air and fan apart i raise the glaive and fire three shots in rapid succession a glaive is just a big axe on the end of a stick oh i suppose it is anime isn't it <laughs> blue spears of magic burst free from the blade and hover in the air these aren't homing blasts so i have to guide each one to its target so we're sailor uh, saturn indeed <laughs> uh, um Sorry. As each one, that's okay. <laughs> as each one speeds unerringly towards their marks, I was going to do a, a, a sailor joke, and, and I realised that she's about eight in the story. <laughs> no. Streaks of blue light trail in their wake. In the night sky, they look like comets. I keep shooting again and again. Each one explodes in showers of light like fireworks as they hit their objective. Three, six, seven. Must learn to count. Nine! No, I missed the last one. I'll have to start all over. This is the standard training exercise for the Elite League, and most of them can do it effortlessly. I have to be able to do it as well as they can. No, I have to do it even better. Nobody shoots balls like I shoot balls. <laughs> I look at the pile of wooden targets on my right and feel a lump in my throat. Everyone. They work so hard to make these for my sake. I can't give up. I have to do this, no matter what. The only answer is the soft murmur of the wind swishing the grass and rustling the trees. I'll repeat this exercise tonight until I can do it perfectly three times in a row. Fortunately, I can count to three. <laughs> lift 10, shoot 10, lift 10, shoot 10, lift 10, shoot 25. Damn, I got it wrong. It's brutally exhausting, but I can't afford to take it easy. I pour more energy into my galeve, readying it once again. 
whatever it takes, I will win the next match. Mm. My head hurts and your piss went down. Yes, I'm, I'm less pissed than I was. <laughs> I think Sailor Saturn is 12 for a lot of it. Doesn't. I, could, I want to be totally honest with you, the other ones were 13 at the start, so let's just not do this, shall we? Yeah. Step away from the jokes. Yep. And Mamoru was like 23 years old when Usagi was mm. dating him, so she, I think she was like 16 at the end of the series. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. And I'm I'm sorry. Okay, I've got to be honest with you, right? Uh, it's, it's, yeah, I, I did see the live action version of uh, um, Sailor Moon, and I've got to be honest with you, Sailor Mars still looked hot. Thirteen or not, <laughs> she still looked hot. Anyway, <laughs> oh, God. let's go. Home. <laughs> right, let's just move swiftly on from that. <laughs> you need to watch one of the live action Sailor Moon musicals. Yeah. Those are uh, amazing. <laughs> uh, the only only the only thing that turned my eyes was Evil Sailor Mercury, but yeah, apart from that. So. <laughs> Sailor Mercury is not my bag. Not my bag. Evil Sailor Mercury, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I arrived at Hannah's bubble tea shop <laughs> a few minutes early, beating the ever punctual Claire for once. I don't really mind having to wait, as it gives me some time to think. Must think of something to think about. How can I separate her from that no good loser of a boyfriend she has? I feel almost as if I'm tricking her, though, luring her here on the pretense that I want to hang out. Well, well, look at you. You're on time for once. I'm not always late, you know. Hmm. Nice book. <laughs> Such a bad <laughs> So, have you ordered yet? Not yet. I was waiting for you. Cool. What do you want? Well, I was thinking bubble tea. How about you? <laughs> Well, I know I would prefer. I would like green tea, but uh... right, go I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for green tea just this once. I'm gonna go with what Simon would like. <laughs> no. With tapioca pearls. That sounds horribly disgusting. Green tea with that's... tapioca pearls. Yes. Oh, sorry. That's sorry. Your line. Please carry on. I... No, that's the bubbles and bubble tea. Oh, bubble. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm sorry, I, I said that, then looked down and saw, oh, yeah, I've just stolen another line. Sorry, delivered it for someone. Green tea with tapioca pearls? My god, there's an echo in here. You dumbass. Good choice. <laughs> it's important to try out new things sometimes. Just not that. <laughs> just not that. Mm -hmm. We order our drinks and find a table. Funny enough, it was in the restaurant. <laughs> hey, yo. What did you do for fun as a little kid? You know, besides murdering animals. What do you mean, besides? <laughs> I blink. That was certainly a weird question to ask out of nowhere. Everyone knows how much I enjoyed murdering animals. <laughs> well, I... Hmm. I scratch my head. I can't really remember, but I think I read a lot. Maybe? Don't tell me you forgot a simple thing like that. What kind of guy can't remember his childhood? One with amnesia? <laughs> One who's poorly written? Uh, I probably have a funny expression on my face, most of the, because she burst out laughing. <laughs> Don't think about it too hard. I'm just messing with you. Dumbass. <laughs> Someday I'm going to find another pastime for this girl. Or mistake her for an animal, one or the other. <laughs> and now she's winding up for the next attack. Great. So, when are you planning to ask Rina out? Uh, three days ago. <laughs> she really does like you, you know. I don't, dumbass. <laughs> I know that full well because we briefly dated. <laughs> and truth be told, I'm starting to feel the same way about her. Not that I can let any of this show in front of Claire, though. She'll be at least three times worse than she already is if she finds out she succeeded. <laughs> yeah, I know. Then what's there to think about? Just ask her out already. I can't do that, Claire. Why not? Even if you don't like her now, you will if you start ta taking her out on dates. Oh, wait, How, can I... yeah. How can she, I break this to you, Claire? I want to do this <laughs> gently, but you've got to know. She loves you. <laughs> I don't think it works that way. Besides, I might end up hurting Rena even more if I did that. 
I treasure my friendship with her, and I don't want to lose her over something like that. Ah, that's a sweet. Just look at how much you care about her. That's positive proof you really should be going out with her. I really should be going without her, yes, but until Claire's troubles with her boyfriend are resolved, that's just not in the cards. There's something deciding, decidedly ironic about Claire trying to bully me into dating Rena when right now she's the only obstacle preventing that from happening. That and that damn chastity belt. <laughs> Still, this isn't what I came here to discuss. I need to find a way to peacefully settle this for now and change the subject. Thanks, Claire. It's good of you to be so worried about the happiness of your friends. I smile at her, trying my hardest to avoid letting my real feelings show. But you know, I worry about you too. Me? Why could you possibly be worried about me? This isn't going to be easy, but now's my chance. Okay, right. Tell her to stop going out with him. I might as well just put my nadgers on the table and hand her a knife. <laughs> Broach the subject carefully or remain silent for now. What do you think, guys? Broach it carefully. Yeah? Yeah. Let's do it. This is a touchy subject, so I need to ease into it as carefully as I can. <laughs> Listen, Claire. Rena has been worried about you lately. Is there anything bothering you? You know we're both here for you if you need anything. Well, you know, Rena. She's such a worrywart, and she always thinks of, of other people first. She could drop dead while helping people out before ever having the faintest idea anything was wrong with her. That's true. She really is too kind-hearted for her own good. Just like a certain someone I can think of. I don't know about that. It's true. And that's why you two should get together. You're both so selfless, you look after each other, and it'll all balance out. Oh, so sweet. Maybe that makes sense on paper, but you know relationships are way more complicated than that. You can't just kick him in the ankle and run away anymore. We've grown. <laughs> <laughs> I let her distract me with Rena for way too long. I need to steer the conversation back to Claire herself. You're right. That Rena is always taking care of others, though. That's why she's been really worried about you lately. But why? Well, have you looked at your lately? When would you clean it last? <laughs> I think it's the rumor about your boyfriend. Rumor? What kind of rumor? That he's a boy. <laughs> there's no easy way to say this, but there's a rumor that he's abusing you. Uh... We're both really worried about you. Frankly, Rena was terrified when she heard about that. She really is such a worry war, huh? Yeah. All that happened was that uh, Claire was inspired after watching Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Right. I'll talk to her about it later, so you don't need to worry about her. I, I think I've actually started to snore during one of these recordings, yeah. So, yeah, don't worry about small gaps. <laughs> <laughs> Rena's feelings aren't what I'm worried about, Claire. Still, Claire, if something were to happen, you would tell me, right? In graphic detail. <laughs> what, are you planning on riding to my rescue with some, like, some prince on a, on a white horse? <laughs> no, no, of course not. Smeg must hide the white horse. <laughs> the mental image is pretty funny, so I can't help but laugh out loud. No, it's nothing like that. It's just that we're friends, and friends can rely on each other. And borrow the lawnmower. I know that you're a really strong girl, Claire. I appreciate how you push me to do things for myself. What? Was that really so shocking? Yes, it was, actually. But never mind that. We're sitting here running our mouths while perfectly good bubble tea goes to waste, so shut uh, up. I don't know, mine's green tea with tapioca pearls. <laughs> that's, that's bubble tea. <laughs> Come on, you better drink up. Like, I spiked it. <laughs> I want to. I want to process, but the ruffle started to kick in. <laughs> but I have a feeling that pursuing the subject of her boyfriend any further will only alienate her. Uh -oh. Maybe if I'm patient, she'll open up to me about the real situation when she's ready, or indeed when the bruises start to show. <laughs> I have faith in her. <laughs> After finishing the bubble tea, we chat idly before 
heading our separate ways. And that, ladies and gentlemen, apparently Ooh. we receive a package. Advanced programming. Oh, no, no, don't look at it yet. Oh, no. Nope. Cliffhanger. Not going to look at it yet. <laughs> and our 25 minutes is more than up. So I think we're going to end it here. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this, guys. It's been so much fun recording it again, especially with these two insane people. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <Really>? you. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for coming along, ladies. <laughs> Thank you very much for listening. Oh, this has been Fading Hearts. Thank you and good night. Thank you.